just to, to run um, uh, off. Uh, how, how many years is it since your father left office? 34, 34, 1986. Uh, we left the Philippines in 1986, so... Uh, did, did, did you expect to come back as the president of your country? Not as president. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it was, it, it, we, were, we were in exile for six years, so uh, we weren't sure if we were coming back at all, uh, physically coming back. My father never made it back. He died in Hawaii. Uh, so that, yes, uh, that, that was a very... Uh, uh, that was a very trying time. Uh, those were dark days for the family, uh, and I dare say even for the country. But uh, but you didn't uh, you didn't have an ambition to to become a president of your country back then. Well, uh, I, I I need to explain this uh, this to people that one uh, as I was going uh, coming out of schooling out of university. I did, I avoided politics. Uh, I was determined not to go into politics. And I said, why will I go into politics? My father has done everything in politics and the life is difficult. And I could see the sacrifices that they had to make, that he had to make to get to, to do a good job. And I said, yeah, yeah, maybe that's not, no, that's not what, uh, uh, that's not what uh, I meant to be doing. Uh, but after we came back from the United States, after, after exile, when we were first allowed to come back, the political issue was Marcos. And for us, we, for us to defend ourselves politically, somebody had to enter politics and be in the political arena so that at least not only the legacy of my father, but even uh, our, own, uh, our own survival required that somebody go into politics. And so upon arrival in 91, the following election was in 92, I immediately ran for uh, congressman in our province and House of Representatives. And, you know, uh, uh, like I always say, it's not where this is. If you had asked me when I was 23, 24, 25 years old, will you enter politics? Before you finished asking the question, I've already said no, <laughs> no, no, no. But, you know, life takes you to certain, to, 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 to places that you did not expect. Uh, and so once I, once I, I was uh, entrenched <laughs> in the political arena, I said, well, we, if you're going to do this, you better do it well. You better uh, be president. Well, you, you, every, every, every uh, lieutenant wants to be a general, right? Every, uh, um, uh, every clerk wants to be uh, the CEO. Uh, so I'm saying if I'm going to be in politics, let's do the best we can and take it as far as we can take it. So we just never stop. But, uh, you know, this is, your, this is your career now, so work hard at it and uh, do it well. Do it as the best that you can. And I was blessed uh, that uh, the Filipino uh, the voting population, the, vote, the voters, uh, Filipino voters, uh, agreed with the message that we put out during the campaign and uh, returned, uh, uh, returned a very strong mandate for the presidency. No, uh, congratulations on that. And also, thank you for sharing uh, this with us here today. And thank you for coming to Davos. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you.